Okay, so you guys are probably gonna judge. Look how small this is, guys. I accidentally bought like little girls, four year old socks, but because my feet are small, I can fit into them, which is great. We like to stand out a little bit, like to be a bit sparkly. Because, you know. You know why. Women to women, you know why. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. And if you are new, hey, my name is Ling and thank you so much for being here and for watching me and for clicking on this video as well. I hope you guys had a very, very wonderful Christmas. I know I did. Oh my God, guys, if you followed me on Instagram, you probably saw like my nieces and nephews like ripping up all the Christmas gifts. I was so happy. And yeah, I just feel like this year was probably the most relaxing Christmas I've had in such a a long time I feel like when you get older Christmas becomes a little bit more stressful because you know your family gets bigger you meet people and yeah you just want to like spoil you everyone and yeah so in this video I'm gonna share what I got for Christmas and I just want to let you guys know okay I'm like 24 years old so my gifts aren't going to be the same as some other people's gifts who are much younger than me and who gets more presents than me I feel like when you get older it's all about the younger people in your family it's all about spoiling them it's all about giving them what they want it's all about making them happy I mean that's I don't know, maybe I'm old school, maybe that's just how I've been brought up, but I know for a fact that over the years, Christmas has changed for me. When I was younger, I used to have not just one present, I used to have like 20 presents, but now that I've gotten older, the numbers have cut down, and I don't care about that because now I have some gorgeous nieces and nephews, it's all about them, and I just want to spoil them. And the same with Nathan's family as well, he has loads of nieces and nephews, and he has loads of sisters, and it's like, I just want to spoil them. So I am one of those people who likes to give, rather then receive um when someone gets me a gift i'm just like oh my god you actually got me a gift like you didn't have to get me anything like that money should be towards you and your kids so that's what goes through my head so yeah i just want to let you guys know that this video is going to be really quick and very small very small what the hell this video is going to be very quick and short and yeah i hope you guys enjoy so let's talk about the gifts that i got okay so you guys are probably going to judge but i just want you to understand please do not judge because the person who got me this gift is my mom, and she only got me one gift and I don't care what she gets me. As long as she's around, that's what really matters to me. So she got me a massive box of McVissie's biscuits and I love it. I love the fact that she got me chocolate biscuits because I love these since I was a kid. I always begged my mom to buy me this because it was like five pounds from like Tesco's or Sainsbury's and she'd be like, fine, buy it. And you know, growing up, my mom works really, really, really hard for me. Like, I can't even like tell you how hard she worked for me growing up. She was the one who helped me. She paid for like my extracurriculum and it was so expensive. And like growing up, when I calculate how much money she spent on my education, she spent like literally thousands and thousands of pounds. And so, you know, I don't care what she gives me. And I know some of you guys are thinking, really, your mom gave you a box of chocolate? It's like, yes, she did. And to be honest, I don't really give a crap what she gets me as long as she's alive, as long as she's healthy. That's what I really care about. Now for Christmas, what I got her was money. So <laughs> I know she's very happy with that and yeah. This is from my mum. The next gift I got is this really cute jumper. I think I'm gonna wear this to bed because it's just so like, it's not too thick and it's not too thin and it's not like an itchy type of jumper. It's a really nice jumper and it says fa la 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 llama. Oh my God, it's so cute. And like this scarf as well is like, ooh, hello. I love this. This is from my brother and his wife. I love this jumper so much. And I love that it's baby blue as well. It goes in my pink hair, which by the way, guys, oh my God, yes, I am wearing a wig. I hope you guys don't mind. I know some people are quite sensitive to other people wearing wigs. I'm just like, why? Like, ever since I started wearing wigs, I have seen another side to people's opinions about wigs, and it's like, girl, I'm wearing a wig because I don't want to damage my real hair. Like, I grow my hair for charity, and you want to like judge me for wearing a wig. Like, you think I'm trying to like fit in into social media? Like, no, I'm not. I'm wearing a wig because I don't want to dye my natural hair. Like, some people are literally like just don't think logically so yeah i hope you guys don't mind me wearing a wig i'm gonna be wearing lots of wigs i haven't laid it down properly so it might look a little bit crazy i'm very new to wearing wigs i try my best to make this wig look snatched as possible like, literally it took me an hour to get ready for this video so please appreciate <laughs> yeah so i got a christmas jumper next up i love pjs if there's anything if there's anything you want to get me for christmas pjs socks bath bombs i'm literally the the easiest person to buy gifts for. I know a lot of my friends and family members are like, they don't know what to get me because I'm so lucky to have 
you know, this career where makeup brands send me so much makeup. And I also have clothing brands who send me a lot of free clothes as well. And, you know, I can understand from their opinions that they feel like I have everything when really I don't have everything. But if there's anything you want to get me, just get me PJs and socks. I'm literally happy with that. And my other sister-in-law, just so you guys know, I have three big brothers, by the way. <laughs> so my other sister-in-law, she got me this really cute PJs. Oh my god, it's so cute. Look at her with this colorful bow. Yes, I love it. I have no idea where it's from. And it comes with these really cute matching trousers as well. Girl, I'm Lily. Oh my god, I love this. Thank you so much to my sister-in-law, Lily. And yeah, I think this is just so cute. I love PJs. I have about 20 brand new PJs. I went out to Victoria's Secret and I bought like 500 pounds worth of like underwear, bras, and PJs just because I'm one of those people where when it comes to buying underwear and bras and PJs, I'd rather buy it in bulk so it lasts me for like the whole year. So yeah, story of my life. <laughs> so I love PJs and I love these and I love the pants. I feel like the pants I could actually wear this during summer like out and about I, I don't care what people think yes wearing pjs out and about that should be a trend okay <laughs> another cute gift that i got this year from nathan are uh, these really cute socks so i got all these cute little penguin socks and these are like fluffy socks and these are from bow avenue guys bow avenue is so good and affordable and like the quality is amazing as well and they don't just do like women's stuff they do for like little girls as well so i accidentally bought loads of little girl socks but luckily my feet are small so I can still fit into them so like this look how small this is guys I accidentally bought like little girls four-year-old socks but because my feet are small I can fit into them which is great this matches my hair <laughs> so these are like little bunny socks and they're really nice and cute and thin perfect for me to wear to the gym and I got some not all of them are little girl socks luckily I managed to get some that for like my age you know I got some really cute plain black socks but with a little bit of sequin because you know we like to stand out a little bit like to be a bit sparkly i just got so many cute little socks so what happened was that nathan asked me what i wanted for christmas and i said to him i was like look babe i need lots of socks and i need lots of underwear because those things goes like water don't know about you guys but to me i literally go through so many socks and underwear a month like i literally have to throw away half of my underwear because you know you know why women to women you know why okay so yeah i got lots of socks and lots of underwear from boat avenue and just to let you guys know boat avenue this is not sponsored by the way boat avenue is doing a sale like this special offer where if you buy if you buy seven underwear it's for 21 pounds and that's like a bargain that's like three pounds per underwear and the underwear that they do is so much better and it's so much more comfortable and it's a bit more stretchy and they do such a wide variety as well and i prefer it to primark underwear i know a lot of people like to go to primark and buy it but i like to go to boat avenue because it's pretty much the same price if you think about it and it's so much more prettier as well like the designs that they have so yeah if you guys are looking for some new underwear and bras and some socks make sure you go into Boat Avenue, it's literally the best place to buy stuff. Yeah. So these are the underwears that I got. I don't mind showing you guys like my underwear. So I've got this really cute green one. I still have them packed up because I haven't had any time to like put them away. So I've got this really cute green lacy one. This is a really cute thong in case I have those days when I'm wearing like leggings or something. You know, it's very stretchy. Oh my god, the material feels so, so good. And then I got this nude thong just in case I wear like a very skin tight dress. And this literally like, it's so thin that it kind of like goes into your skin. Oh my God, the material feels amazing. And this is like, this is how it looks. And it's a proper fong fong as well. And then I also got, I also got some granny underwear cause you know, when it's that time of month, you want to wear comfy stuff. And you know, when you wear a sanitary towel, you want to make sure you have underwear that fits with your sanitary towel so i think this is one of them no that's another thong where's my granny underwear hold on here you go here's my granny underwear guys hot pink but it's still very cute and it's lacy as well and when you wear sanitary towels make sure you wear like lacy or like cotton type of underwear don't wear silk or sand type of underwear because the the sellotape thingy will like get stuck to the underwear i've learned that the hard way guys oh my god i've literally ruined so many underwear because of that so yeah make sure you get something lacy another cute gift that i got from nathan is this 
this bag and it says Santa says relax this is so cute so he got me bath bombs and I feel like they're handmade because of the way they looks and I just love the fact that there's people out there who makes handmade bath bombs like look at this there's no way that a machine can make that I mean unless they like make the ball and then someone like hand puts the gold balls I don't know, but it's cute at the end of the day and I really appreciate it. Mm, it smells so clean, it smells so fresh and there's literally like so many bath bombs in there. And there's this one bath bomb that looks like a cupcake, it's so cute. Like look at that, it's got a little bow at the top as well. So cute, oh my god I love it, love it so much. And I got this one as well which is like pudding. Look at that, so cute, love it. I also thought it'd be nice to share presents that brands got me. Like I can't believe we live in a generation where if you have a career on YouTube or Instagram brands will literally spend so much money in gifting like I, I it just blows my mind because it wasn't like this like a few years ago like a few years ago yeah like you'd be on a PR list and you'd you know get given makeup like that that and that is enough as a gift like mm. but you know the fact that some brands would actually spend a lot of money on a gift for someone that they don't even know I just feel like wow that's crazy so Really big shout out to Sugar Bear Hair for gifting me this Tiffany's bracelet. I absolutely love it. It's a little tiny, it's like a little tiny bean. I want to call it like a little jelly bean, this little thing right here. And it says my initial on it as well. It says LT. It's so cute. I've showered with this, I've bathed with this, and it still hasn't like, you know, gone off or anything. I mean, it's Tiffany's. Tiffany's does last a really, really long time. And I can't even imagine how much this costs because the cheapest thing from Tiffany is like 300 pounds. Literally 300 pounds. And I know myself and another girl that I know Layla loves, she also got one as well. So I I can't imagine how many people they sent Tiffany's out to. Like, I really can't imagine. Like, it must cost a bomb. So, yeah, really big shout out to Sugar Bear Hair. Thank you so much for thinking about me. And thank you so much for gifting me this Tiffany bracelet. It literally means so much to me. I couldn't believe it when I opened up the puzzle. I was like, what the f Literally, that's, that's what went through my head. Another brand that I want to say a really big thank you to is Nails Inc. Thank you so much. Oh my god, let me try to pick it up. Thank you so much for gifting me this beautiful gold plated necklace. This is so gorgeous, guys. It's very minimal and it's very simple. It's not too flashy either, which I like. So it's like a gold necklace with my initial on it that says L and it's so pretty and yeah I, I love this I wear this on days where I'm wearing like nothing but gold jewelry but today I'm wearing silver so yeah thank you so much to Nail Zinc and the day that they gift this to me they had Santa come to my home okay he was dressing up in rainbow and I was just like living for it literally he looks like yeah it was it was it was insane it was so crazy it was the best way to start the morning waking up to see Santa and yeah I can't believe they went out above and beyond and did this like I can't imagine how much this cost let alone renting a Santa like it was just crazy seriously thank you so much to Nail Zinc and last but not least so I wanted to get a gift for myself because I feel like it was really important that I got myself a gift to remind myself what I've accomplished this year and what I went through this year so I went through a lot of positives but I also went through a lot of negatives like I have to say goodbye to a lot of demons this year I'm not gonna lie guys okay I'm gonna keep it real with you all and I wanted to get myself a gift just to remind myself that I survived through all of that and that I stayed strong and even though I was like an emotional wreck a lot of the time this year like oh my god guys if you followed me you know for a really long time you probably noticed that some days I'm not acting not as active on Instagram and on YouTube and on social media but that is because I just needed to stay away and just to like sink in what I went through during that time and it was really hard to like go on social media and pretend that I was okay when really I wasn't so I just wanted to get myself a ring to remind myself to make sure that I avoid negative situations and always respect the people who did bad to me because I felt it's really important just because someone does something really, really bad to you, that doesn't mean you should hate them. Because once you hate them, you are hurting yourself. And I don't want to hurt myself anymore. I want to love myself and I want to remind myself that, yes, there are a lot of bad people in this world, but I shouldn't hate them because if I hate them, that's giving me anxiety, that's giving me 
you know, a lot of bad emotions and I don't want to go through that. So I need to learn to respect them and just avoid them and just be like, you know what? We didn't work out. It's okay. Let's move on. So I wanted to get myself a ring to remind myself of that. And I also wanted to get a ring to remind myself that I worked so freaking hard and I deserve to treat myself. Literally, that's what went through my head. So I went ahead and bought myself a white gold platinum Tiffany rings with diamonds on it. Yes, guys, I bought myself a Tiffany's ring. And when you buy yourself a Tiffany ring, it comes in a really cute box like this. And when you open the box, it comes in a, another little box like this. This is just so iconic and... I never thought in a million years I could ever walk into a Tiffany shop and buy myself something for myself because usually when you buy Tiffany it's for like a gift for someone but no I wanted to get this for myself and just a message from me to you if you want to get something and if you want something so 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 badly get it yourself don't let someone buy it for you I mean obviously be around someone who motivates you and it tells you that you can do it but don't be around someone who's gonna buy everything for you because you will lose your own independency and it's so important to be an independent woman or guy in this world, especially in this generation because everything is so fast paced now because of technology. So I just wanna let you guys know that make sure you get yourself like, this was a bomb, this cost me. I'm gonna tell you guys the price. This is the, when you buy a Tiffany ring, it comes in an envelope like this and inside it's the receipt. So this costs, this cost me £1,125. I know. <laughs> Crazy, right? Like, I could have used that money on something else. Like, I could have used that money to go on a holiday. But I wanted to get myself something that was materialistic. That way, whenever I look down on it, I'm just like, yeah, I got myself this ring. And I'm going to give this to my first child. This ring has so many meaning, guys. I can't even tell you. When I give this to my first child, I'm going to tell them literally everything that I've been through in my 20s. And tell them that you will go through a lot of emotional stuff and that you also go through a lot of positive stuff. Just wear this ring to remind yourself that you're strong and that you're independent and you can do everything yourself. So yeah, that is why I got myself a very bougie expensive present. Yeah. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. Today's shout out goes to... I don't even know how to say her name. This is so embarrassing. So I'm just gonna like put it on the screen that way you guys can read it. I can read it, but I can't say it. So it's it's Leah. It's it's Le Leah. I, d I don't know, but her real name is on her actual Instagram. So her name is Beatrice. I'm just gonna say that. Thank you so much for tagging me in your pictures and videos, Beatrice. I absolutely love them. Please keep going. And she's young. She's doing things. She's making moves. She does a lot of videos, guys. So make sure you support her, spam her, send her loads of loves, comment on her post, and yes, support her. If you guys want to shout out my next video, make sure you just follow me on Instagram and just tag me. And that is it. You could be in my next. YouTube video for a shout out. I also want to let you guys know that I am doing not just one, but I'm doing three massive giveaways on my Instagram page. I am doing a Gucci bag giveaway. I am doing a hundred pounds worth of makeup giveaway. I am doing another giveaway with the Dora Twins where I'm giving away shitload of makeup. So yeah, if you guys want to win some goodies, make sure you enter and follow me on Instagram and follow the rules. And yeah. You can win some makeup. Follow me on all my social media handles as well if you haven't please do because I'm trying my best to be as active as I can on my Twitter and TikTok. I just recently kind of went on it last night and I was like, you know what? I need to be active on TikTok and, and Twitter because it's it's different. It's refreshing. Make sure you follow me on TikTok. I'm really loving TikTok actually. I have a lot of things planned in my head of what I want to do for TikTok. So yeah, make sure you guys follow me. I love you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell button. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you guys got for Christmas. I love you guys so much. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> I don't know what that was. What the hell?